Major League Baseball suffered its first loss of the 2017-2018 season on Sunday when Valerie Plant was elected mayor of Montreal. Plant is not against Major League Baseball setting up shop in Montreal again, but there is the matter of whoever owns the Montreal Expos or Major League Baseball itself being able to get public money out of the city. On the campaign trail, Plant said she wanted to get low-income housing built, expand the city's public transportation, and if she was elected, put the baseball stadium public funding question before voters during the next citywide election in 2021. Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred and a host of others have been talking about an eventual return to Montreal, but there has never been a timetable in place. Plant's election could establish a timetable, at least for a vote, but four years in politics is a long time. Montreal seems to be better suited for a Major League Baseball team than it was when the Expos franchise left after the 2004 season, if you listen to Manford and others, although it's not clear why the talkers feel that way. There's no suitable stadium. No one knows what kind of TV money would be available and if there's enough corporate money available. Montreal's corporate loonies go first to the NHL's Canadians, followed by an MLS franchise, a CFL team, a Formula One race, minor league, and junior hockey. There are circumstances surrounding the departure of the Expos. Major League Baseball seemingly gave the city no help in trying to keep the team in town. In 2002, Florida owner John Henry took over the Boston Red Sox, and Expos owner Jeffrey Lurier, who struck out in his bid to get a Montreal stadium, took over Florida, leaving the Expos ownerless. The team was up for sale and eventually moved. The Expos saga continues. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.